test the clutch out real quick. Here's a little side by side. It's the stock manifold. But I'll keep you guys updated. We'll run this exhaust and uh, we'll see how it how it does. I think this is like the no the cheapest of cheap no name eBay. It was like a header test pipe Y kit. Um, I'm thinking it should, it's supposed to be like a factory replacement. I'm thinking it should bolt right up to the uh, ISR uh, cat back that I have. But um, once we get the car up and running, we'll, uh, we'll see how good this stuff does and what it sounds like. But keep your fingers crossed for me, this stuff doesn't actually like, the flange doesn't warp and leak like crazy or I'd rather do that than like the pipe itself to crack like it did on the other test pipes the car had on it, so. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, guys. We got one side done. And as for the question I'm sure someone has, uh, you know, how do they fit? Well, they fit like $200 headers. They fit like, you know what? <laughs> this junk uh, I'll be 100% happy if they just go in the car and actually have no clearance issues it's a little close to the starter I might put like a little heat shield on it but I think it'll be okay um, uh, yeah I'd take like you know step bits and kind of and you know grinding tools and equipment and everything I could think of to actually make them go over the studs so and you forget torquing them down uh, you really can't get to them with anything except for basically wrenches so but they're on there we'll see how they go I'll uh yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> hoping they go in, like I said, with no fitment issues in the car and uh, don't leak and don't crack. I'll be very happy. Kind of see just, uh, oop, did you focus. Just marking, just keep going back and forth and marking where the they need a little attention so taking a lot of material out so the fitment is pretty bad I'll just be honest but. all right one more to go then it's going in the car okay guys it's getting super sketchy around here that's exactly how long it took me to get these headers to fit um, I think I started this, I got off kind of early. Uh, I was probably here at the house at like four. Um, not sure what time it is now, I think it's like five or six. But yeah, it took, um, I was like, I got here way before that. I think I was here at like 3.30. But yeah, it took it took a while. Um, but they're on, uh, it's like I said, just had to, you can kind of see right there. Uh, let's see, that's a perfect example. You can kind of see how that guy is just like not quite lining up. This is actually uh, one of the holes that I'm guessing you don't have to use. But yeah, fitment's kind of crazy on them. All right, guys. Want to show you once again why you do not want to buy Flea Bay products. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can make it out, but the header is hitting on the steering right there. So we're going to pull the motor back out. And I'm going to smash it with a really big hammer. So, we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, I'm sure a lot of you were curious about these headers. Uh, maybe you were just curious, possibly wanting to try them. <sighs> but if you can see that... Uh, 
Where is it at? That is our clearance on the steering rod after many, many hours of hammering, then torching and hammering, and then pry bar and torching and cussing and hammering and huh, finally got the clearance, kind of hammered it back a little bit. I think we'll be good and I actually put the old test pipes I had, I bolted them to the flange, put the pry bar in it and then hooked it to my truck right over there with a big strap which you can kind of see it laying on the ground and heated it and like ratcheted the header over to the motor so the, the, there's no way this thing would have went without you know serious modification <laughs> so yeah unless you want to go through that headache um, you might want to save uh, I don't know 400 500 more dollars and buy nice headers but as far as fitment, these things are a fail. Now, because I bent that one header on the driver's side, you can see the test pipe is at like a really hard angle, supposed to be kind of like over here. So the Y, it's way offline. This is pretty difficult. You can see how far offline it is. So. That's how much we had to bend that header over <laughs> to get it to clear, even with denning the, hem the header with a hammer. And you really can't take any more out of that. I mean, you need that little bit of clearance. It looks like it's touching it, but it's not. I promise you we got probably, uh, let's say a quarter to an, yeah, I'd say about a quarter. Quarter inch all the way around. So I think what we're going to have to do, or what I'm going to have to do, um, is I'm going to pie cut this thing just like you know cut it cut it cut it cut it cut it not all the way through just about midway of the pipe so just cut 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 that way I can bend it easily and then I'll probably have to cut this flange right here to angle this flange so it'll meet up with this because you know of course if, if we pie cut this and bend this pipe over the flange is going to be way off so they're not going to bolt up and this does have a flex joint and it will probably flex but i don't think it's working it probably this doing that might sh i'm not sure but it might shorten this up and we end up with an issue here but if it does i will just make a flange spacer that's probably what i'll do because <laughs> it's not going to shorten it that much if i don't think so that's what i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna take this test pipe off and then just like i said just a couple little little slits like midway through the pipe just cut 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 that way i can fold the pipe over to get it back facing this way and then i'll just cut the material off the back side over here so i can hammer the flange back and then i'll weld the pipe back to the flange hopefully that will be money okay real quick real quick just want to show you what i got going on so that's what i'm saying like just Bunch of little pie cuts like that they're not very pretty but if you you take the pipe and you, you kind of bend it together so spread it out i guess if you want to go the other way i think that might be a better option <laughs> that's it guys it's actually up it's tight in a few spots i think it might rub later make some noises but uh this is the side where i pie cut and don't judge my welds. It was cold. I was on the ground. It was dark. Um, some more excuses. I was welding with a flashlight. Yeah. But it's on there. It's not going to break. At least I hope it doesn't. <laughs> but that's the header fitment right there against the uh, steering. Well, we got plenty of room now. So they fit. And uh, now, so as long as you don't mind doing a little bit of work, I guess they're all right. And that's kind of our our next oops, hold on no angle, I guess. That's kind of our next clearing issue right there. You can kind of see us it's gonna hit it on this side right here. You got a gap for days. 
And on this side over here, I don't think there was really any issues. You guys can see it. But yep. Not too bad, I don't guess, especially considering it's like $200 for all that. All right, guys that's uh that's pretty much it for the exhaust um kind of hope this helps someone maybe you were interested in buying the ebay the cheap stuff um i guess i don't know it's uh the fitment's definitely bad on it um but you can make it fit is it worth it uh i don't know i guess if you got the time and you got a little more time than you got money i don't know um i would definitely have liked to bought a nicer quality stuff but like i'm trying to put this car together as cheap as possible i have like freaking three other projects going on right now so i was hoping this is gonna be my cheap seat time kind of deal but yeah i mean it's uh as of right now it's it's on it's holding up um for much all i can say about it i guess so hope this helps you out you know let you uh kind of see what you're in for if you're interested in buying an ebay exhaust um I can only imagine the the headache would be the same with like a cat back or something. It's going to be hitting and rubbing in some kind of area somewhere. So, yeah. I would just expect it not to fit very good. Man, I just saw my window tents messed up. Jeez. It's always something. Oh, well. But yeah, that's it. Um, hope this helped you out. And uh, as far as the sound goes, I think it sounds pretty good. I know a lot of people don't care for the way that uh, these engines sound, but... I kind of like them. It doesn't bother me any. But All right, guys. Hope you'll uh, subscribe, hang around, and uh, see what we got going on for the next videos coming up. Uh, hopefully, we'll be getting some dyno time and some track time and stuff like that with the Z very soon. And maybe the other projects, we got some stuff going on. So make sure you subscribe. All the support is much, much, much appreciated. And uh, hope we'll see you guys out there. Okay, guys. It's like nine o'clock now. The engine is in the car. And we finally got the headers to clear. I don't know how I got, if you can actually, damn it, battery just cut off. Great. Great. <laughs>